What's going on shrewdness? What's going on shrewd gang? In today's video, we're doing a nice little update on BlackBerry, also known as ticker symbol BB. We're gonna go over the longer term point of view, break it down into the short term point of view as well. And then we're gonna break it down into some short volume so we can find out over these last few days what the short sellers have been doing to our favorite stock BlackBerry. And then we're gonna close out the video with some max pain. So if you wanna stay tuned for that, just keep those eyes peeled. Without any further ado though, let's just go ahead and get right on into the video. So as of right now, we have it in our intraday setup. There's been a lot of green lately on BlackBerry's float, especially when compared to competitors. The gap down you had this morning was crazy basing off of the CPI data and BlackBerry was still able to break into new highs. I'm pretty sure up here at the peak, you were over 2% on the day with blood in the waters. There's been a lot of that happening lately. BlackBerry, blood in the water, but BlackBerry's still green. It's interesting to see this playing out, but you also have to understand that this is tied to not just the U.S. markets. It's tied to the European markets, the Canadian exchanges, the uh, Asian exchanges. With me looking at this on the day, I can see that you're trying to formulate some sort of uh, ascending head and shoulders formation, but that can get smoked in an instance if you continue with this volume that you've been getting all day and just breaking over the short term high of 580. You break that, you're on your way to make higher highs, most likely along with the stock market. Now this is for you long-term holders. And I mean the ones that are gonna be planning on being here for a long time because they expect some pretty high prices ahead. I have a long-term raid out resistance and I have about three levels to look forward to other than this descending channel of support. You can see that it's not about pinpointed hits, but just know that if you run this out to the right, you can see that your first and closest retest you're breaking out of this month. You go to your next level of a retest up here at this high point during your June rip, you're on your way there. And honestly, I don't think you're gonna have to pull back deep into this channel. I think it's a little bit unrealistic, but just know anything is possible. You had massive buy-ins in June. You had massive buy-ins in January. And basing off of these huge volume candles, I don't see any reason as to why, even if we pull back lower, we're not gonna see prices higher than 20, higher than 30, realistically and easily on our way back up. If I can go into our daily candles next, I wanna bring back this falling wedge that we've had for quite a long time. And that's simply just running the highs to your highs and running the lows to your lows. We broke under this, not once, but tried to recoup the channel, rejected and fell even deeper twice. This is showing that we're on our way to recoup this channel in the near future. And this is showing areas that if you were to retest the high point would be $10 already. And we're at five, almost six as we speak. So it's crazy retest ahead. It's very realistic for this to see prices as high as that, but many people don't understand that with this being so low in price right now and staying here for a long time. But you can see with the market curling over and just to a complete bloodbath, BlackBerry is going to have to face that along with every other stock in the market. What we really need to see a break above in the short term, if I can give you one level to work with, let me just ray it out to the right. It's going to be a clean slice and dice above the areas of 650. I don't care if we pop above it and pull back below it. That's not what I wanna see. I wanna see a breakout trend like we had here, but with a higher low afterwards. We have not gotten that yet. We've gotten some short-term higher lows as of right now, but you can see it's also met with lower highs. So it's a 50-50 channel that we're trading in right now, and wherever this market goes next is gonna pave the way for BlackBerry stock. We need strength right now, by the way, like asap Aroni, And it could be a couple months when I say ASAP, but I mean by the end of this year, which is about three months or so, we might not need to see a liftoff, but we need to see signs of a liftoff. If you can go all the way out into the yearly candles, I just want to throw some uh, moving averages your way. Let me hide all these drawings. And you can see if I zoom in super close, super deeply, we are on the verge of getting a long-term bearish result. We don't want that because we've only had one other result in the long term and that was a long term bullish result. Of course, the short term lines can get a little choppy. They can get a little slicey under supports and resistances. But the main three I'm looking at are the 50 MA, the 200 and even the 400 MA. This is showing me signs that in the long term, we're still bullish in the yearly candles. But of course, with the smaller term, shorter term moving averages in the long term point of view slicing under, we're going to face a little bit more red than we would have wanted to see. And that's most likely already played out. 
we've gotten some massive, massive indications towards higher prices ahead with not one, but two yearly candle green volume bars popping over your VMA. This is known as the volume moving average. This is showing huge signs towards massive, and I mean massive growth ahead. The difference is though, is when it's presenting value, are you gonna crust and crumble into a paper ball and get thrown in the trash? It's not up to me, man, that's up to you. With this being said, we broke down the long-term point of view. Let's go into our hourly candles to see where we could be expecting to go next in the short term. Well, in the short term, we got a clean crossover in the one hours. I would assume this pullback is a retest. And with that retest happening, we want to go higher after this. Of course, you could consolidate a little bit more on the day, maybe even until the end of this week, right? But when it comes to the short term one hour candles, if we can go ahead and get a short term falling wedge going out, you can see the establishment of value is there. You can give it the benefit of the doubt by swinging it down to here, but it doesn't matter how you look at it. You're going to be in a bearish channel descending until you get the higher low to break out higher. This is fantastic because this shows that in the very near future, we're going to continue our breakout trend from these lows. Now, BlackBerry is doing something known as stair stepping its way up. And I have an extension in the short term in the past, right here, right now. And we actually pulled back after our clean bounce all the way to the 78% retracement. It's a weak bounce. It's not something that you want to see. But the only way you can get yourself out of this bearish channel, this very weak bounce, is by stair stepping your way up off of support to support to support. And you can see as of right now, We've been doing exactly that. You hit the $5 support and broke over your next channel of resistance. You pulled back a little bit lower, broke out into your next channel of resistance. The next retest we have, if we continue to stair step above these levels, are around the areas of 630. And that's just short term. If you break above that, you're in a volatile gap up area between the high sixes to low sevens as that next resistance. Just to give you some levels to work with in the short term, look around the areas of $6 flat. You break above that, you should be on your way to the high sixes to low sevens. Now I'm going to share something on my Patreon. I don't usually do this, but these are just to show you some more levels that I'm wanting to see in the longer term point of view. And it's just to show maximum retracements. There was something very specific that happened in the rip of 2007, 2008, when you were capitulating to your highs. And you can see that it was literally the highest retracement of lowest low of the IPO to highest high to secondary lowest low. The same thing has played out for every other stock that has existed before 2008. In 2008, you got capitulated to the upside as high as it could have ever possibly gone. And BB did the same exact thing. The highest retracement was hit and it was beautiful and it was fantastic. If we can swing this slide to the right, I can show you the long-term retracements if BlackBerry were to become big tech, as I've been saying, and if BlackBerry were to be tied to government infrastructure and just seeing unprecedented breakouts and trends in the future. The maximum retracement from lowest point after IPO to the highest point in 2008 to the recent lowest low that you made in December of 2020, when you were around the areas of like $2 or something like that, you can see the highest retracement would be $600. And that might be crazy unrealistic. And I understand that. So let's give you a more realistic manner of the highest retracement that we can see. Let's swing this over to the right and you can see that we are grabbing our shortest term retracement of 2020, right? That $2 and something hit to your highest high in January squeeze to if this is truly the lowest low, right? Let's go to the daily candles, this area right here. If it's the true lowest low in this setup, our maximum retracement is $115 a share. And even your short-term retests are showing 20, 25 to 30. When you're sitting down here at five, many people, a lot of people don't understand how realistic these retests are until they start coming to fruition. Um, when you were falling down to the deepest trenches of hell, everybody was saying they wanted to see BlackBerry at one, at two, at three. And th that's the easiest thing to do, right? as a stock is falling to be like, eh, I'll wait for it to go lower. I'll wait for it to go lower. You telling yourself that will never cause you to buy into a stock. If you're flying vice versa, it could always go higher. Uh, you get what I'm trying to say, right? You will never ever take profits. So with this being in the case, I just wanted to point this towards your brain.
Blackberry's max pain this week is $5.50. It's actually been this way for a long time, but let's go all the way out into the middle of next month, so the middle of August. The max pain then is $6, and you have the highest call options attacking the sevens. If you go all the way out to the next month, being September, you can see that's when the max pain is still at six, but you're starting to get a ramp up of bigger bets towards higher prices. Now, let's go all the way out until December. That's when your max pain is bet towards the $8 strike. There's a lot of people going long term with BlackBerry, it seems, down here at these low points. And they are attacking the areas between $9 to $10, while the put buyers are attacking the areas between $8 to $7. With this being the case, it slaps that max pain at $8, going all the way out to December. So you can see over time, the bets are pointing towards higher prices ahead. Last but not least, if I can bring over the short sale volume, this is beautiful because your prices have been falling in BlackBerry. And it makes sense. Short sellers aren't supposed to hit the stock if they're short while the price is falling. They sell into strength. So you can see with our short volume being down 17%, short sellers are gone. They're non-existent. And this is probably why you've seen so much strength from BlackBerry while everything else has crusted into oblivion. And BlackBerry's in the midst of presenting value to the stock market and its investors. So do what you need to do with your money and your shares. I'm not going to sit here and try to beg you. I'm not going to sit here and try to do anything like that. I'm here to show the massive growth potential that BlackBerry has down here at these cheap prices. And if you don't want to buy them, nonetheless, if you want to sell them, sell them to me. This is not financial advice. You guys got to do what you got to do with your money and your shares. I'll catch y'all boys. Please stay safe out there so I can see you guys tomorrow. Shrew gang. I'll catch y'all boys as well. Peace out. Uh... Shrew gang.